Welcome to System Test 14, and this test I think is going to be a little bit more interesting. Anyways, you might be noticing that the camera is still. Um, I was digging through my basement storage room, which is this room, uh, a couple hours ago and I found a tripod. So I was like, ho oh, ho, yes! So I now have a tripod so um, I can keep things still. So that's pretty sweet. So open up the panel. Um, today we are going to be testing out zone 4. So let's go up there and see what we got. Alright, so come on up here. We have the same device as you've seen from the tests with exit sign 50, but I'll go over them again. I have my Chemitronics heat detector and my system sensor I3. Um, both are hooked up to zone 4 on the panel. Um, I'm thinking maybe in the next test having my Edwards heat detector up and whatever the smoke detector is. <laughs> so um, yeah, but today we're going to be focusing on the i3. But first, let's go over the alarms. Alright, so up there on the left we have my Cerebros Pyrotronics remote strobe. And I think it's a nice little remote strobe. Now, going on the right here, we have something that's never been in a test before. And that is a bell. I'm trying to get the tripod to go. There we go. I'm new to the tripods. <laughs> Um, but we have a bell there, and that is my Pyrotronics bell, and the model number is BDC-624. And you haven't seen this bell before, but yeah, I have a couple of bells, so, and it's set on continuous, it's not single stroke. So, let's see what the pull stations are. Alright, so the pull station right here, we have, um, you can see I have my STI Stapper 2 over it, and under it is my global fire control t-bar um, and as you can see the horn is not on in the stopper okay Put that back and then going over a bit I have a firelight BG8 um, I'm not going to be doing this one today but we'll do it in the next test I'm only going to be doing one pull station today all right guys let's go ahead and give this a pull here we go Alright, let's go ahead and reset that pull station. Yep, there's the answer. Place the stopper. Okay. And then come on over here. System reset. Alright, so you know when I pull the fire alarm, it gives a little bit of delay. That's because I have switch number one down here turned on. The dimp switch, I mean, I. You might not be able to see it down too well, but number one is on. And that means it has about four seconds of verification. Um, so coming up here to the i3, if I were to activate it, it, has, it still has a four seconds of verification. So what it does is it cuts the power to the circuit and then reapplies it. And if it activates again, then, um, then it'll sound the alarm. So it's kind of like a fail safe uh, fail safe device. So let's go ahead and activate it the first time with this hex key. So just stick it down right there. Three, two, one. Okay. See how that little red light on turned in there for a second? Okay, now zone four is flashing. See that? So that is basically saying that the panel is saying, hey, we think zone four is an alarm. Okay. So now if I were to stick the hex key in it again, um, it would reactivate the, the I3 and it would go. So let's go ahead and do that.
red light is on saying it's activated. All right. So that's the i3. The i3 is a great detector. All right, guys, that was the system test. Let me know if you like this whole tripod idea. I think it's really cool. And yeah, that was the system test 14. Thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And have a nice day.